Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, you know what we're doing. These are the colors that I'm using. Very blue, going in with pink. We're using white. This is the base coat. Top coat. And I'm using some stars. All right, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and go in with the base coat. Again, today will be a short video as well. I'm not doing anything that's too hard. Everything's just simple. I'm trying to remember to get my hand out of the camera. And brush this way. I got the side. I'm gonna move that bottle out the way so I don't knock it over because I am known to knock over some polish. So we're going to go in with two coats of each color that I'm using today. Hey y'all, some of the nails come with their little um, piece like that. You see the tip of it? So basically, I'll have to file that down to make it even all around. But that's not, that's not um, too much of a big of a deal. All right, so I'm going to go in with my second coat. Something that's on this. So guys, I know it was a pink one right here at first. I made a mistake. So I had to fix it. Off camera, of course. I'm gonna go back over there. Just to take care of the um, other pink. All right, now I'm gonna go back to this one because I think it's something else on this nail. It is. All right. So I try not to make my videos too long, guys. So that's why I do a lot of my um, correcting off camera. So I won't bore you guys too long. So we're back and now we're just about to go in with the stickers. Guys, this order is for a client. And this is my first time ever doing the client's order on camera. Let me see which one I'm Okay, I'm going to use this size right here. So you won't see me trying these on. I don't know if I'm going to continue to do client's order on camera. Oh, man, something on that. Oh, I hate this sometimes. These are so easy to tear. I had to find a better way to get these off of here without destroying the whole entire sticker. Okay, maybe that's a little better. All right, so I'm going to place the first one. Like right here. Close to the top. And remember to press down because, you know, bubbles can get underneath them. But I'm going to go back over with the silicone brush. So this is just now what I'm doing. All right, so I'm keeping the same size on every every nail that I do. 
I'm gonna try this again, what I did last time. Do that. All right, and doing this, go down, same. Let's see, I'm turning this a little different. I'm going to do four stickers and I'm just going to go down just a tad bit right here. All right, one more on this nail. We're only going to put the stickers on the blue because she sent me a picture and the stickers are only on blue. All right, so, and then now let's go to our next nail. We're doing a total of four stickers as well. We're doing the same thing. And if you have any of the sticker hanging off the nail, all you have to do is just go in with your um, your nail file and just, after you put your top coat on, and just file it off. Like right here, I'm gonna have a little bit hanging from the side, but I'm gonna tuck it underneath the nail right now. But I'm gonna go back and fix that. All right, so let's see. Let's see if I can get this one off. I'm gonna have that piece hanging off the nail. Like this. All right, probably can't do this one. <laughs> All right, so no, we're not going to worry about that. I just want to see if I could use it, but I cannot. So just grab a twist and take it up. All right, so go down to this one. Let me do this one. I think it's a little smaller than the other one, but it's okay. This nail is a tad bit smaller, so I'm going to do it like this so it can fit. Nope, I'm going to hang off just a little bit more by right there. So these are hanging off the nail, and all I got to do is just go in with my silicone brush. And I'll make sure it's free because, you know, I use these all the time. Make sure it's free of glitter for uh, lint or anything. All right, so now I'm just going to go in like this and just press down and I'm going to give it a gentle rub. Trying to assure that all the bubbles uh, are out of the um, sticker. I'm also going to use the ball as well to rub down a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to rub first and then I'm going to Press it down with the silicone brush. It's moving around, so. Mm. Try not to touch it because you know you can leave prints on it because it don't have a top coat. It's only the blue this year. So I'm trying not to leave any prints, but I had to press it down a little bit more so it can stop moving. So I just go back through it. And it's not hit, it didn't help anyway. So 
I'm gonna just go back through with some um, nail polish remover and get that uh, my print off of it because yeah, it's still moving. I do that on camera so you can know exactly what I done, what I do. I mean, all right, so just go ahead and go to this one. Yeah, this one is more. Secure to the um stand. So I'm just going through my ball first and just rubbing out. Smoothing out everything that I can smooth out. to go in with this on that nail that I was telling you about. Just put a little nail polish remover on it. And soak down here. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to run it across here and just get all the um, everything that I pressed down on off because it did have a little stuff on it. So I'm just going to let that air dry for a second before I put any polish on it so now i'm going in with my top coat on all of the rest of the nails but i'm gonna skip the design nails for one so i can finish with all the rest of it and she's just on the simple design with the stars which i think is lovely Because this is her first time ordering press on nails, I did her a couple extra so she for so, for free. Just so um if she didn't order correctly, I just added to it. I mean I just gave her some just just you know help her out. So I will also show you guys that. Alright, so now that I don't have time enough to dry. I'm just going to go and cover this. So right now I'm going to show you how I do my order. So right now I'm, I'm measuring out how much tape, double-sided tape that I need to put on this um, card. So I want five and a half inches. And I'm going to use two strips because I gave her extra nails. So I need another... Um, strip to put the extra nails on. So here I'm cutting out, putting a little cut there so I can know where to cut at. Okay. Placing this down. All right, so now I'm going in with my next one. I'm going to go ahead and measure that out as well. Normally I do not measure. I just go ahead and eyeball it. But decide to do something different here. All right, so going a little bit underneath it. All right, so now let me take this paper off top. All right, pulling that back. This one giving me trouble, so I'm going to have to go to the other end. So, okay, this one is better. All right, so now I'm gonna go in and place the nails down. And I'm checking to see if there's any um, putty in the back of the nails. And if it's not, I'm clear to put them down. There's something on that one, so I'm taking this off. Normally I do not even do my um, my client's nails on camera, I always do them off. I just love to do nails where I can actually try them on for you guys and make videos of them. I really never do client nails, but I just want to do this one today just to show you guys how I, um, you know, actually get everybody their product, how I do it. It's no different than what I do it on the regular, but the only difference this time is I will show you guys how I actually wrap my card and, um, tissue paper and how I actually, um, you know, make my little bags out. 
I don't put much in. I put three items in it, but I just want to show you guys this today. Just, just in case you were curious about how I do my things. All right, so just continue to go ahead and place in these nails on the card. That pink look kind of red on camera because the um because of the darkness of it. But yeah, it's it's literally pink, guys. <laughs> and when you take a picture of it, it definitely looks red, but it's okay. I'm not sure if I will continue to do my client nails on camera or not. I might take a picture of them, but I don't know. And post them, I don't know. I should. Okay, so I'm showing you guys here that so what happened was the um the blue putty or the blue tack or whatever you call it, um, the polish got on it. So now I'm just going through and I'm fouling it down to even it out, um, just to get that off of it. So it runs down, it ran down the side of the nail and got stuck to the the blue tack. So I'm just filing away here and I'm going through and I'm cleaning it up. I'm going to actually take a wipe and wipe this off just to be sure. Okay, yeah. Just to make sure it's clean. And you will see me move my card every time I need to do something like that because you do not want to put any debris on the nail display. So that's what I'm doing here. All right, so these are the okay. So now I'm realizing that that is sticky. Then I did not put my base, my top coat on that. So I'm gonna have to go back and put my top coat on the other ones. But I'm gonna go ahead and just start um, continuing to put the uh, nails on this on the stand. I don't know how I missed that. I don't know how I missed uh, placing the uh, top coat on those nails, but we'll get to it. At first, I was going to wait, but now I realized, let me go ahead and put this top coat on here. So, I need to clean these off first because I did touch it and it do have a little, um, because it's a tack, because it's the sticky uh, blair, um, it definitely will attract all kind of lint, all kind of dust, all kind of whatever. So, that's why I'm cleaning this off with nail polish remover. And I'm trying to fan this dry. Sorry, guys, I felt, sound like I felt echoey a little. Well, not echoey, muffled, because I literally had the mask on. I don't even know why I still had the mask on while I'm doing this voiceover. So right here, I'm just going in, and I'm continuing to um, do the top coat on the nails. And I'm going to place them in a UV lamp, and I'm going to bring the cards back and try to line them up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and take the blue tack off the back of them. I'm just moving them around to see how do I want to place them. And I don't even know why I only did one white extra nail. Yeah, I don't know. But hopefully she do not even need the extra nails because they are a totally different size from her regular nails. Um, but it's just it's just in case she do. All right. So I'm trying to move this down. So I just did eight extra nails and that is so pretty. All right, so now I'm going and I'm showing you guys what I place in my little bags to give to my clients. I do not use gel glue in my bags. So if a client wanted gel glue, they would literally have to purchase it themselves. Um, so I use the nail tabs, I use a file and I use a cuticle pusher. That is all that I have in my bag. And I'm trying to straighten this up a little bit so I can seal it. This is it. So that's I want to show you how I wrap this. So I take my paper like this and I place my card. See, it's the same size literally as my card. The, um, and then I go like this to make sure it's covered. And then I go like this. Sorry about that. And okay, so you see now that it is fully covered. 
and I take my thank you sticker and I place it right here in the center. So this is how I wrap it so that it can be protected from scratches from everything that it needs to be protected from while it's being shipped out um, or not necessarily shipped out because like most of my orders are local and they, I literally meet them with them. But um, yeah, so this is how I do it. I just wanted to take us take the time to just show you guys how I do my order. So, um, some people use the envelope, the uh, not the envelopes, the, um, the clear package. I've got the name of like the pouch looking um thingies, and they just place them inside of it, which is good too. But if you want to save a little money and you also want to look good, um, this is what I do. All right, just want to show you guys that. See you next video.